Send to Amy. Message sent. Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create that really cool hologram effect using Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you how it works. So this effect looks good if you want to try and mimic the hologram effect coming from your phone or maybe an Apple Watch. It just looks very futuristic. Now, before you start editing, you need to shoot yourself acting out the effect. So for example here, I click my iPhone to look at some photos. I then wait a few seconds and then pretend to scroll through the photos whilst I find the one that I want. I then click this to load it up bigger next to me and then I say send to Amy. Then the text appears, message sent. Next, I swipe my hand down to close the hologram. To record this, you'll of course need to screen record this action as well directly from your iPhone and then pair the two shots as closely as you can. Once you've recorded the screen recording, drag this screen recording clip over top of your acting clip. Once we've done that, we can sync up the screen recording to our hand movements and do this the best you can. I'll speed this bit up. And the best way to do this is just add the markers every time you do a movement and then cut and either speed up or slow down the clip to match it. In this case, I actually didn't have to make any cuts, but I'll show you how to do this anyway, in case you did. So once we've done this, select all the clips, right click, and then click Nest. This makes it all a single clip to work with. Now, to create the hologram effect, there's actually a few different effects that we're going to drag onto this new clip to really get it looking great. So the first thing we're going to do is go into the Lumetri color panel and then head down to curves. First of all, go into the red section and then isolate the red until you see it developing into a hologram look. The next effect is called wave warp. Search for that first and then drag it onto your clip. Now go into effects controls go into wave warp options and right here where it says wave type, let's change this to square. And then we're gonna change the direction to zero. Now play around with these two settings here, wave height and wave width to get it looking more digital and hologram like. Okay, so now change the opacity of the clip just a little bit and make sure the keyframes are not enabled. Next, we're gonna add an effect called noise. And this just increases the digital look of the hologram. Now we're going to add another effect called Alpha Glow. Change the settings here to what you'd like. I like a glow on 100 and the brightness at around 200. Change the color to match the screen. So kind of like a cyan or blue color. So we need to make this look more like it's actually in the scene. So we're gonna search for an effect called basic 3D. And this enables you to actually change the perspective of that clip. So adjust the swivel and tilt until it looks like it's in the scene, just like so and then change the position and scale just until it looks right to you. And spend a bit of time on this, getting it looking right. Next, we need to flip this so it actually looks like I'm reading it from the right angle. Now, we need to animate it so it looks like it's actually expanding out and away from the phone. So go to start and go a few frames in and then toggle your keyframes on scale and position. Now go to start and scale it down to zero like so, and then position it on the phone. Make sure to move the keyframes closer together to make the motion quicker. And there you go, this looks really great. 
Now we need to do the same at the end where I just swipe it away. Make sure to toggle keyframes first, then move a few frames in. Move the keyframes closer together to make the motion quicker and just highlight the keyframes and move them back or further to change when you want the motion to happen. Okay, so this is looking pretty great. Now let's move on to the next screen. So what you wanna do is copy and paste the attributes and adjust the basic 3D so it fits the perspective and flip. Make sure to tick all of the attributes that you want to copy. Now we leave this on screen for a second. Now I say send to Amy. So we just need to animate this whoosh away. So just go into your position and scale and go frame by frame and play with it until it fully disappears. Make sure to toggle keyframes first, then move a few frames in. A great way to make this look really good is to add a directional blur. So drag this onto the clip and change the direction and the blur length so it looks a little like this. Change the blur direction to give it a nice motion blur effect of it whipping. So the last step is to add the text that appears over the video. So what we're gonna do is add a text layer and I'm gonna type in message sent. Now we can go into our effects controls and with this drop down arrow, we can change the font and the color. And there we go, I think we have the text looking just the way that we want. Activate your selection tool and position it the way you want it here. So now we can add the same attributes. So the color, the glow and the basic 3D all look right for this perspective. I'm going to untick the motion and direction blur for the text. Okay, so we just need to animate it so it pops up. So for this one, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to use the crop effect. I'm going to add the crop effect and keyframe the top option. and do the same for the end so we have this digital type motion. You can obviously do this differently than me and add keyframes to the scale and position so it whips in and out just how you would like. It's really up to you. But I think this is looking pretty great so far. Finally, and a really, really important part is to make sure you get some sound effects or music in the background. Now we're getting all of our sound effects here from Epidemic Sound and I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check them out. I really do think you need to add these sound effects for the whole effect to work really well. So I'm gonna add these here and there you go. I think that's looking pretty great. Send to Amy. Message sent. So there we go, that's our quick guide on how you can achieve that hologram effect. Now of course, play around with this until your heart's content and think about different ways that you can introduce the hologram. It doesn't necessarily have to be from an iPhone or an Apple Watch. It could be maybe in your car, or it could be from a computer screen, it could be from a TV screen, it could be anything. You know, try and maybe uh, emulate something that you've seen in a film. And let me know in the comments section below how you get along with it and if this tutorial helped you. So thanks for watching and make sure to see the rest of our Premiere Pro tutorials by clicking this video up here. And I'll see you in the next video.